Shout out to my boy who made the beat, uh, Silent J. Dope beat. Everyone always asks me about the beat. Silent J made it. Shout out to you, homie, man. Love this beat right there. Boom. That's the, that's the beat right there. All right. So you know how we do this show. I got to read the comments. I got to read these comments that my uh, assistants put out every week. Thank you for the comments. We do read the comments. I read them sometimes uh, when I got a chance. But these are ones they selected randomly from different shows and for me to read. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're bad. So let's see what my assistants are on today. This is uh, from the Jackie Long Show. Shout out to my boy Jackie Long, talented actor, funny, funny episode, man. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming out to L.A. You know we do it in Atlanta and L.A. He was in L.A. Shout out to uh, my man Jackie Long. Very, very funny, talented guy. All right. Jeffrey Lewis says, Pierre is so fire emoji, funny. Thank you, my brother, and keep up the great work. Peace, love, and life, the heart sign, and art. Ace, A-S-E. Which is, what, what's A-S-E again? Blessed. Well, thank you, man. Jeffrey Lewis, shout out to you, homie. I appreciate you watching and supporting the show, man. We do read these comments and we read all of them. All right. This is from the Ruben Stutter clip. Chase writes, love your show. See if you can get Elder Barge on it. Oh, I know that's right. You know, actually, I tried to get Elder Barge one time. Let me tell you what happened. You know, he, he jumped in my DM. We were doing it back and forth, seeing what it was. He was saying, give, showing me love, you know, showing how it was rock, you know, we, you know, writing back and forth, texting, you know, crew fucking up. Um, and I was, you know, I, I didn't know he even knew who I was, but he appreciated and liked what I did. Same as I said, told him. Um, and then I said, yo, man, going back and forth, I said, how about doing Pierre's Panic Room? And you know what happened after that? I ain't never hear from him again. Damn, L. I want to have a sit down with you. Come on, L. I got number love for you, man. You got me through the 80s, man. You were one of my heroes, brother. And you still are. All right, man. So if y'all see Elder Bar somewhere on the concert, tell him to do P.S. Panic Room. Holler at me back in the DM. All right, this is from the Tank episode. Queen Years says, that's J-E-R-Z, writes, I guess that anyone, a podcasting i guess can have a podcast i guess anyone can have a podcast well you know what anyone got one and anyone is named me how about that all right queen years all right queen years i got one and then i'm gonna tell you why i got one because i got dope ass guests come on my show every week and this week is no different i got one of the dopest comedians around man he's a vet in the game come on y'all he said it off especially during the the uh bt comic view days man people loved him during the comic view days come on he want to help comic view do what it do Come on, y'all know who it is. Y'all already seen the, the title. Let's give it up for my friend, one of the most talented comedians, the one and only Mr. Arnaz J. Look at you looking at all slim and shit. And, no, and, you know, but yeah, yeah, come on, get the black on. The black, yeah, it. well, you, you did, right, you let me did. Get, let me get it yeah, okay, ooh, ooh. there it is right there. <laughs> there it is right there. Ooh, wee! <laughs> What's uh, up, man? Yeah. Man, pull up, man. Can pull I? Up, man. Hey, you, right. You're sitting like you're handicapped, man. Put that mic. Oh, okay. okay. No, I'm you're just a sexy not look. Uh, Okay, you got the uh, you got the relaxed grown uh, man yeah, look. You now. know, this started from pimps. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I look at the way you're dressed. Okay. You look like a suave brother. Okay. You put up this motherfucker in a goddamn truck. Look like about. 20 feet tall. You took a ladder to get off the damn thing. Yeah. What is that, a, a F3050? No, it's, um, it's an F150 lifted with four and a half inches, 35 inch mags on it. But you know, I've always been into cars and especially trucks. You know, I've I didn't always, know that though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, thought, I could see you more of a slick, you know, Ferrari kind of guy. Oh yeah, well I'm yeah. definitely into that. Oh, well, you're in that too, yeah. I'm more into a luxury uh, ride. Okay. Like you say, Ferrari, okay. I would probably be Phantom. Oh, oh, okay. You know, because oh. I, I, I'm into, you know what it is? What? I don't like to hear a lot of, out of a car. Okay. You know, I don't like to hear, oh, mm. you know, I like, oh. to, I like to hear that, lay on down, I got the room for you. I like that, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like to get my toes manicured while I drive. Hell no. <laughs> All right, man. We got, uh, we, we got, we got to, man, I love you, man. I appreciate it. Forever. No, we have no, known each other. Uh, at least what, 35? Yeah, like, it's yeah. been it's been Nine, it's been a 90s. while. Yeah, at least 30 some years. And I will say this about you. Uh and you know me, okay. you know. You keep it 100. I, I always keep it 100. You know, I don't I don't 
I don't mess with people. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't really do interviews right. yeah. that much because right. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a private person. I respect that. But when you um, called and asked, that was that's that's one of those things you could have been in your sleep and teletype, and I would have felt it. You know, really? and I would have said yes, just because you have never, as long as I've known you, okay. you've never disrespected me. Right, wouldn't do and it. You, and you've always just been an honest dude. You, right. you understand? You sure. you know brothers that just lie. Sure, sure. Just to be lying sure. and say shit. You know how the game is. Sure. You know, especially when we were coming up, everybody was stealing everybody's stuff. Right. That's what yeah, it seemed sure, like. Sure, 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 sure. And then the one that is hot, that's the one they go after. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. especially if, and I'm not a clicker. Right. You know, I would say to myself, yeah, so when you're true. not a clicker, that's true. they find that there's something right. they can uh, jump on. But, you know, right, right, some right. of them had to get that floor of the truth. Oh, are we about to talk about it, man? <laughs> we about to damn near talk about it, brother. People have no idea, man. No, but I appreciate the man, the love. I do yeah. appreciate the love. And I reached out. I was so happy that you'd say yes, man. Thank Let me you. tell you, this whole little journey of people coming on this show, it's a small show right now. It ain't huge. It ain't like, like millions of followers. But people are coming through to show me the love. Yeah. I'm like, wow, man. Yeah. I'm but like, I can't That lets you know it. how... Um, how much you you are valued I as a that. human being? I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it because I do respect. You know, I respect what we do. Yeah, I'm going to ask questions. I'm yeah, yeah. out of respect. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I I love y'all, man. We we comedians, man. We've been yeah. through it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And even sometimes when I don't have a comic on, I still respect the artist. I I take art being doing an art being an artist very yeah, serious, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like people play with us when they don't give us a funky microphone or no lights on stage. Like I don't play what? that, man. I get pissed the fuck off, man. I, like, and 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 I am a perfectionist. <laughs> yes. When it comes. I you know I kind of got that uh, Whitney Houston Aretha Come on, Fangra, Come on. Uh, Aretha Franklin uh, yeah. syndrome. Let that room be cold when I walk on. Ooh. Let it be cold. Let my nipples come out and see what happens. Okay. Let my nipples right, right, come out right, and see, see what, what happens. Happen. Right, right. <laughs> I will walk off that stage. It's just got, I like, because of my voice, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I do voice exercise before I go on. Mm -hmm. So, let's because take it I do back. it. Okay, let's take let's it, take it back. back. Okay. You are from Atlanta. You born and raised in Atlanta? No, everybody thinks that. Yeah, I thought Everybody you... thinks that. When I Denver. say everybody, no. Nope. Okay, I ain't, I'm giving up, nigga. I'm, who are you? Are you yeah. on SJ? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Florida boy. I'm straight out of the Poker Bean Projects. Really? Yes, sir. That's, that's Miami, ain't it? Yes, sir. Like Liberty City and yes, all that, Carol City and all that? We own the First Emmanuel Baptist Church down there in Liberty City. Yes, sir. Really? For those who don't know, Liberty City ain't no joke. Watch, yeah. the, watch the first 48. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 And what? a lot of people didn't, a lot of people didn't, a lot of people, some people knew that about me. A lot of people didn't know I, didn't I was know out of Poker Bean. Yeah. That's a rough area. Yeah. Now, you, how old were you when you moved? Uh, like, to, did you move to Atlanta? Yeah, I moved to Atlanta. Did you? How long no, you I was, I, I moved to Atlanta as an adult. Oh, so you. Okay, well, how long were you in the poker beans? I was, I grew up in the poker beans. Then my, you know, I was an army brat. You know, my father went to the service. Mine too. Um, um, took me when I first left out of poker beans. First place I went, uh, <laughs> and why we go there was Fort McCall. No, I was in Germany too. I was about to say Germany. Come I was on, in Hanau, Germany. Hanau, Hanau, Germany. He spoke in Deutsch. Yeah, my mother's Deutsch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Little chocolate, what a little chocolate. She like chocolate. The gum, the tanga, the the gummy bears. The gummy bears. Yeah, the yeah, gummy man. Yeah, brochen. A brochen. Yeah. Oh, this guy here. Yeah. <laughs> Two black people talking <laughs> German. Don't even make sense. <laughs> Damn that! I like and it. And they had some good pizza. Right, right. Oh, did they? Oh, did they? Man, what? Used to pull it and the cheese. Really? It would never snap till it got about right here. Hell no. That's when that's that's good pizza. Uh, is that and when it, it snap back and roll? It had that fast tongue uh, and get it real quick. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, lizard mouth, man. Okay, damn. Get okay, it. okay. Yeah, so, so you left out of uh, pork and beans to Germany. Yeah, and then to... I went to stay with. See, I have a, I have a, I have a book, man. I. I went and stayed with my grandmother in, in back in Fort Lauderdale. And my okay. grandmother lived How were you then when you went back then? Um, I was, uh, at that time, I was like 11. Okay, so 11 years and old. And then okay. I went to Fort McCullen. I had to meet my father then in Fort McCullen, Alabama, because okay. my grandmother was raising me. Okay. Because my dad, I don't know why, I don't know why I always got left behind. You know, I, I was really? the oldest, but I always got left behind, like with my grandmama. Mm -hmm. I know I went too hard, too much to handle, you know, my dad, my dad was crazy. He's right. straight. Straight boot soldier. You know? Oh yeah, he, oh yeah, in the service. Yeah, 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 he wasn't. You know, it's, it's, it's a whole. But did you have brothers and sisters? I did. I have. I, I have six. Yeah. Okay. A lot, a lot of people don't know that. Well, it's five, but me at six. What, did they move with you when they when you moved? Did yeah, they move your I, I ass? All, my sister was made when I was an adult. Damn. Yes. He be stroking. Yeah. My yeah. My <laughs> sister was made. That, that's why I'm saying like that. Right. She was made. Hey. 
when I was an adult. Do you understand me? God damn, and, uh, so you're a grand brother. Yeah. So I have, yeah, I could have, oh, she, she didn't have to, that's funny. She didn't have to call me. Grand her, brother. Her brother, she could have okay. said that's my you're, daddy. Right, right, damn. Yeah, she could have said, but, but yeah. Wow, okay, okay, so, okay. You know, and I have, you know, and I haven't always had um, the best life as a lot of people, you know, like a lot of people don't, my, you know, my dad shot me three times, so. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Just rewind see, that. Yeah. Your pop shot you three. Okay, how old were you when he shot you? I was at that time sixteen. Oh yeah, you deserve a little pop in the ass behind no, that. No, you, you was, no, no. Um, he had a flashback uh, from the service from the Vietnam. From Vietnam uh -huh. Wow. And he called me Charlie. And I'm, I'm, I was like, who, 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 who right, the right. hell? Oh, I know who it is, Charlie. but that ain't me. He ain't in the house. Pow, pow, pow. Straight in my back. No, he didn't. Yeah, he yeah. shot you three times? Mm -hmm. Did Okay, when something like that happens, does he go to jail? Or is it like, hey, man. Okay. How I remember it is, mm -hmm. he got up and he ran and went and grabbed a, a 38. Okay. Ran back, and as I figured out what he was doing, you remember those old houses they built? It was a garage, but they made it into a carport living room type thing. You know, that's what no, black people no, did. Sir. No, you know, my, my mother's white. We didn't do that. He know. Yeah, okay. That's what black people did. You know, we, we turned them garages into another living room right. space. Right. So I ran out the window, ran through the window, actually. Wow. And uh, and I heard the pow, 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 pow. As I run down the street, ran to a neighbor's house, they noticed that my back had three holes in it, but the bullets went through. But it was went through wow. my back, yeah. Damn. That's, that's, that's how God works sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But so did you, did your father just, would you be back in the house next week with him and shit? Well, uh, I, I not until we did a clean sweep of the guns. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wasn't wow. going back in the house. Right, right. But no, my dad, if I wouldn't have came back, if they, if he would not have heard from the police or my neighbors. Sure. I think my dad would have shot himself. He would have killed himself because he was going to kill himself because he thought he killed He killed me. you. So... Damn, I'm glad he did and shit. Hell no. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, brother. I feel you. No, on that. I feel you, brother. Yeah. No, nah, man, I feel you on that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Y'all so, record? It's been rectified? I mean, you know, the relationship? Well, he's, he's passed. He's but passed. Yes, we did. We did. We did rectify. I, um, I, uh, you know, I've, I've just had one of those lives, man. I'm so. Wow. I'm so. Uh, but you couldn't so blame thankful. him, man. You didn't really blame him because no, of what he went through. No, I, I didn't. Plus, I was, a, I was, I was not understanding. Mm -hmm. And all I could see was that was my father. Sure. That's all I could see. Right. And you couldn't change. And like, um, and it's not that my dad was a mental case, but he did have a flashback. Sure. And it, it's very real. Oh, when they tell you this stuff, right. it's very real. Wow. I know Joe Toy used to you, talk about his You probably should have came and got me on a day where we could have started at like 7 in the morning and finished at 12 at night. Nigga, it's, it's, it's one of them. Nigga, it's good. No, brother, no, <laughs> okay. man. I respect, I, I respect that, man. I can see the love you know you have for your father, your, the situation, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, I, I have love for people. I'm just a loner. Right, right, right. You know, I'm just like, don't, don't, don't mess with me. Just. Right, you know, right. but you know, but we're in a business that, and we're in, and see, and yeah. I didn't, I didn't really know that getting in it. Sure, Pierre, I sure, didn't know because when, when y'all were in it, and when we met, mm -hmm. uh, y'all, y'all, the L.A., a lot of the L.A. comedians, mm -hmm. you know, I started out in Atlanta. I actually, right. first time walking on stage was in Denver at the Comedy Works. Yep, yep, yep. And Robert yeah. Townsend was there filming a movie called The American Flyer. That's when I first met. Wow, Robert Townsend. Okay, and he had a cast on his arm, and he came up on stage, did some comedy. Right then is when I wanted to do comedy, and I was a flight attendant. I, I, hold on, I'm going to get into that. Run. I okay. didn't know you were really good in sports, too. Not bad. Yeah, no, nah, really good in sports. Yeah. With the baseball you play? Baseball. You know Don D.C. Curry used to play ball, too, I now. I do. I know Don was Don was. Don now, was Don made ball. it to the minor leagues, almost to the pro. How far did we get? I made it to uh, the jailhouse. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jail I made it. I made it. You played I made softball. It. I, yeah, softball. I, I, thought, I thought first base was to my left. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. No, 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 no. That's, and, right. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. I made, yeah. It, I made it to the jail. No, I was being looked at by the Kansas City, yeah. St. Louis. Uh, another friend, uh, friend that I had named um, Kevin Evans, when in, we were playing together. It's literally, mm -hmm. he went into the um, Cardinals organization. And I went into the penal court. Hell penal no. Code hell no. Organization. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. Did you, right. you went to jail? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, Ron I ain't Barkley. always been nice. I, I, well, we're gonna get to that. Well, damn. Okay, <laughs> you, you a hell of a flight attendant. Uh, yeah. what, what brought you? What, what made? What, what almost got you? Well, what got you into the penal code? Um, <clears throat> <laughs> say it, nigga. Say it. Cocaina? At first, no, <laughs> oh. no. I was never into that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, um, at, as you well know, mm -hmm. I've been in martial arts for a long time. Yes, sir. And um, mine was, at first, they wanted to put an attempted murder charge on me, on oh. a police officer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. The yeah. police put their hand on you, and you put the hand back? Yeah, kind of. Mm. You know, kind of. Ain't no kind of. Yeah, kind of. Oh, damn. You got a yeah. little pop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it started from a skating ring. Yeah. He, uh, they were. Racial pro profiling? I kind of think so a little bit. Really? I, I kind of think The guy so. you hit, the police, was he white or black? It was me. He hit you, and you whooped him. He, okay. Real talk, okay. we were at a skating rink. Okay. And matter of fact, you should still be able to look this up. Mm hmm I was living in Aurora, Colorado. Ooh, white folk. That was white folk. At, at Skate Ooh. City. There was a lot of blacks there because yeah. Fitzsimmons and Laurie Air Force Base was pretty oh, okay. big back okay. then. Okay. A lot of brothers and sisters came down mm -hmm. um, to come through Denver. And a lot of them out there in the audience know people probably that have been in the <laughs> service at Fitzsimmons uh, Army Base. Okay. Um, and when I was at the skating rink, and we were backwards skating. You know, they, the, the DJ would come on and say, everybody turn the backwards skate. I didn't hear him. And I was one of those show offs. You know, okay. I, I can straight get it on a pair of skates. Better than Usher? Usher dope. Uh, Usher dope. Usher, Usher dope, Usher, man. Usher, hey, Usher ain't in my league. What? You, have and you uh, seen the video of Usher? Usher's not in my league, and right. Usher's smooth. All right. All right. Go ahead. Usher it. ain't in my league. Okay. Back up. Go ahead. And go I'm ahead. old school. Okay. Usher ain't okay. in my league. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead. Roll, bounce, skate. That was yeah. you. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. he gonna right. do that for so. I mean, he, he's smooth with Ooh, it. I, he be slow. Okay. But I'm bow legged. Okay, well, go, okay, so, so 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 you wasn't listening when they said turn back. Okay, and I then, wasn't listening, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, I'm coming. I'm, but I'm skating backwards, but I'm moving. Right. All of a sudden, this police officer walked out and yanked me, hit me, kind of like yanked me off the floor, and my and because my skates were never tied. Oh, okay. See, that's okay. one thing. Right, right. If you wear tied skates, you can't get with me. I'm not on tie my skates. Right. I don't wear no toe stops. You call no oh, yeah. toast. I, 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 I'm, I'm not right. the right. one to play with. Okay then. All right then. Okay. <laughs> so he yanked me off mm -hmm. and told me to get up and then you know that and I was like, "Why are you doing?" And but I jumped up real quick because okay. he knocked me out of my skates. Right. Sure. And as I jumped up, pulled out his, whipped out his club, swung, bow. Cross. Oh, why'd you do that? Though? Right. Oh, here we go. And you know he's a police. Oh, you knew he's a police at the time. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't matter at that point. Well, I know that's he right. Struck me. Okay. And I wasn't one of those ones that if you struck me, why did you hit me? No, I've been, I've been trained. Right. And I was still young, but it doesn't matter. Right. So it kind of went like that. Boop boop. It was, right. you know, pretty much done. Police were called. They swarmed in from everywhere. As a matter of fact, they put a 11 year old girl uh, unconscious. Really? Yeah, they put her in a coma, I think it was. Ooh. It was a big affair. Right, and this sure. police officer, they thought he was de they thought he was dead. You know, they really did. They and it's because he had the right to do what he did to you, and you were wrong for hitting him, right? Because Well, like I said, I was looking at some bad charges, but I'm going to tell you who got me out. Who got you out? You won't believe it. Let me see. Who A got police you? officer that was retiring. Okay stood up for me because I was in jail for a while. I took me out of school. Baseball was over at that point. Right, sure. Um, and basically it was police officer. It, it was a it was a self defense, but a police sure. officer is the one that kind of told the truth. Okay, okay. Well, well, well we glad. So you didn't do that much time, or you did no time. You a little bit. I said I missed a lot of school. Okay, well that's all right though. Okay, yeah. so you got so you got a headshot, a police headshot. I was yeah, I was wondering one of those. It looks so cool. And, and my the, head was toe up. Oh head, ooh, you yeah. had a lump. You had a lump with a head with a head shot. Nah, well, no, I'm talking about my head though. Oh man. damn, just your head. Okay, ooh, uh, that, head you had a head up. head shot. Yeah, my hell no. Yeah, my, my, my my wave was kind of. <laughs> oh 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 the head. Okay wave, okay. Oh back then yeah okay yeah, all right head, yeah. Kinda so then, like a, so I'm gonna move forward a little bit. Okay. I'm not going, then you became at certain certain sometime you became a flight attendant. I did. Now let me start. Let me look around. A lot of men don't become flight attendants. I know. Well, they do. Okay. <laughs> they do. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me ask you another way. Uh, okay. you, were, you were a rare straight man being a, a flight attendant. Oh, yeah. Why did you choose that profession? 
because I wanted a different adventure. I was working retail. Okay. And I was always about, see, I, I was always about doing to the next step. Love it. And so agree. flight attendant was that glamour job. Mm. And I wanted that adventure. Mm, and so okay. I went to become a fashion because I always wanted something better. I okay. always wanted the next thing better. Mm -hmm. And I thought the flight attendant was better. And when I was at, when I was a flight attendant, oh my God, it was like the job. You yo yo your respect level. Yeah. Was big. I goes guess. totally different. Yeah. And your confidence of who you are. Right. I had the baddest crew in the airline industry. Really? My crew was we were all black except for one one white girl. We called her Nestle's white chocolate. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. We were a black crew. <laughs> Now let me ask you. I fly a lot, now, and I'm, I've dated some flight attendants. Uh -huh. um, do you know? You ever heard of the saying um, "crop dusting"? Crop dusting? Ever heard of crop dusting? I mean, I know what a crop duster is, but not crop dusting. It's when your flight attendants go down the aisle pooting. No, my crew didn't do that. We were black. We didn't do that. <laughs> well, this a black girl told me that. She said, "Yeah." Well, she said, she's she said, probably with a lot of white. She said, oh, okay, maybe that was true. Yeah. It, it, it was That's like farting in your face. <laughs> right. white, white boys do that. What, what? You know, <laughs> take the nuts out, lay them on your eyeballs while you sleep. Now we don't. Okay, I'm just telling you what they do. I'm just telling you what they do. Okay, okay, do. Oh, oh, okay no That's that white boy shit. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. sorry. Well, she wasn't white, but... Uh, yeah, yeah but she it. wasn't. Right, right. But she heard it was called crop dusting. I said, crop dusting? Hell no. Okay, first of all, crop dusting. What black person are you going to bring up the name crop duster? Well, it, I, it's like a saying amongst no, you no, guys. No, no, I, I got that. Right. But we never heard it. I never heard it. Oh. Crop dusting. Oh. We heard, you know, of course, we heard the Sky Club. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Mile high, right? Mile high, mile high. right? Mile high, yeah. okay. Now, and she also said she likes to work, like not coach. What do you call like the, the people in the back? It's not what's that? Regular coach, people. main cabin. M yeah, economy. She like working economy way better than first class. She said because first class get on your nerves. Then pay my back peanuts and check whatever the fuck you know and keep it moving. So is that true? You know, she said she, the first class was on her get on her nerves. She didn't like to do that. Well, it depends on the person. Me. Mm. I was the I was a first class type fighter flight attendant because back when I was a flight attendant, we were making meals, Chateaubriand, yeah, oh, um, all, all of the all the liqueurs, you know, right. uh, Bailey's and coffee. I, I won I won like seven awards for like number one flight attendant of the month or the year. Really? Oh yeah. Because everything that I do, I do my to do to my fullest. Right. No. Nope. Or it doesn't um, it doesn't gather me. Okay. So when I was a flight attendant, I always wanted to be the best flight attendant. When I was a flight attendant, I wanted to be dressed the best flight attendant. We all wear the same uniforms, but we don't all wear the same uniforms. There it is right there. You see what I'm saying? Now I heard back then, right now, when you was a straight flight attendant, why do you throw that straight the flight layover, attendant? Well, okay, okay, we'll discuss that. Uh, uh, well, well, because, no, it's the reason, because, okay. because you know, you know, flight attendants and flight attendants travel and they get hotels and they get bored sometimes and some combinations happen. So what are you saying, love? I'm saying what are you saying? You are very nicely dressed and well spoken yeah. yes. and funny. Yeah. That's a hell of a combination as a flight attendant. Yeah. So and what, straight what, what, and the women, you know. Did you did were you were you like uh, what's it called? Revered, looked at for other women like just said, ooh. Yeah, you did know, I dig yeah. in some guts? Uh, okay, Is that what you yeah. want to say? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. Yes, I, I forgot did. where I was at. We in the panic room. Yeah, you yes, dug in some good. Right. I, I dug in some Right, guts. right. Damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. That's why I had to say flight attendant. I mean, yeah. man, uh, straight. Well, never white, yeah, not, yeah. never white guts, though. What? You, you're, you're, you're racist, man. No, you're I'm racist, discriminatory. But you know me. You said you want right. to come here and talk to me. Right. right. I, uh, me and what? Man, I, uh -uh. Yeah, like a little pink toe every Sister. once in a while. Sisters. 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 Yeah. Chocolate. Uh, is there is there a reason? Chocolate. Is there a reason? Yeah, from in my eyes. Right. And it all pink in the inside my anyway. My reason. My reason is because <laughs> I, what now? And it always pink, all pink in the inside I anyway. On. Some of them might be fuchsia. Oh, 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 who are you fucking with? Hold on, now. <laughs> might be that dark uh, pink. Yeah, her name was fuchsia. Okay. Yeah, it might yeah, be that yeah. dark pink. I don't want to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. And your eyes what now? You want you just want the chocolate nah, all the time. Chocolate. I know that's right. Yeah. That's right. It's good to say it here on this show, too. A lot of huh? Negroes watch this show. Oh, well, yeah, you, I you, wouldn't you, even think about the show. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. got involved in the conversation <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, okay, so you did that for a while. A couple I years, did. And you decided to leave that because when I met your ass, you were breaking 9449 on 285. We got a triple. We got, we got, we got, we got, he used to be a, uh, like, like a, a tow truck dispatcher. Am I correct? Close? I worked for AAA. For AAA. 
and I was a dispatcher, but back it up a little bit. Okay. I didn't leave um, the airline. Team. Okay. They left me. I got fired. Hey, too much guts. Well, <laughs> guts no. Could, yeah. Well, let's, let's, no, let's, let's, probably, <laughs> now, if I had hit the right guts, I might have not gotten oh, well, fired. Okay. They had a union back then. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, but, but what, um, what happens, I got fired because I fell asleep on the aircraft because I was sick and I had the flu. Hmm. And um, I took uh, was night uh, Nyquil. Nyquil. And I overloaded the Nyquil. And oh on wow! The, on the jump seat, mm-hmm. on the jump seat, mm-hmm. I fell asleep. That's, that's cause for automatic termination. Is it? Yes, automatic term. But here's the here's the problem. I told the captain that I and this is the truth. Sure. I told the captain that I was sick before we left. I see one thing about me. I always covered my back. I told him I was sick. The problem was the captain was dating the the uh, supervisor flight attendant that was on the plane okay. that didn't like me Ooh. when they called me in for a review I told them the captain knew about it before I told them about my mm-hmm. my my mm-hmm. situation I had an all white crew because I picked up a trip mm. white folks meaning I picked a trip up meaning that's wasn't my right. normal right. crew sure. the captain flat out lied and said I never told him anything white so, captain yeah yeah and so. Um, they fired me. Wow. And then some, I, I forgot how long after that review, they had tried to want to rehire me, bring me back. And I basically sent them a booty picture. <laughs> so you said, you stupid with, as hell. With, with a finger in it. <laughs> right, right, right. Hell no. Because no matter what, I wouldn't have went back. Right, right. Because you're not going to denigrate me like that. Right, I respect that. Um, but when I first came here, I came here. Um, here being Atlanta? Being Atlanta, okay. At that time when I came here, my wife to be came with me, okay. And never, it was a change for both of us. She was in the service; she was getting out of the service. And when we came here, oh man, there's so many memories. We came early here. '90s. Yeah, we, beautiful time here. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Country folks were sweet yeah, here yeah, too. Yeah, Before yeah, these yeah. niggas came in from the Olympics, from all over the country, tore this place up. Yeah, well, let's keep talking. So when I, when <laughs> when when I came here, my first job, I went and got, and this is when I and I tell people, this is a wake up call about Atlanta. Don't come here thinking that you just gonna come here and run run everything. Mm-hmm. Atlanta's mm-hmm. the place that will make or break you. You got to come here with a plan. Right. Okay. You don't come here with a plan. You you need to be working three jobs. Okay. So my first job, man, I went to UPS at the airport. Mm. I was loading what they call LD sevens and LD threes. I was making four dollars an hour. What the fuck? Four dollars an hour, and I had left from making nineteen dollars an hour back then as a flight attendant. I was making four dollars an hour, and I was riding a motorcycle because my car had broken down. I rode a motorcycle to work even in the rain, and I became in a. I became depressed, and after I became depressed. The good thing about my de- depression is I had that second Arnez in there that kicked my ass, told me to wake up. Mm-hmm. I went and I got a job at AAA. But oh, then back that. then I was only making two thirty-five a week. I remember that. Boy. I used to call him up, yes, y'all. Yes, you did. And just talk. He'd be on a phone talking to me. Yes, had to break did. into a dispatch. He's like, yeah, we know we're gonna do a comedy show. Said, hold on, uh, well, well, two eighty-five. We got a truck down there. So car broke down. Two eighty-five. Going to ten. Okay, the freeway was twenty feet. Wait, I hold on. Yeah, man, we're doing it. All right, it's a Chevy backed up. We need somebody. We need the driver. Okay, click, click. I was like, hell no. Nah. He would do that in between call. <laughs> remember that? All females. I would call that to you. There. Yes. All females except for the drive drivers and the head supervisor there. Um, the, 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 the manager mm-hmm. was the only guy and it was like two alpha males bumping mm-hmm. head. The only thing that saved me was a young lady that worked in named Cookie who became like family. Okay. She stood up for me in every account and he always wanted to fire me. And then we clashed head and he was just, he, he, cause I think he felt like it was, I was a lion coming to get his, his, mm-hmm, his pride. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sure. And he had one of those wives that just, you know, did what he said. I'm like, man, first of all, I ain't no old Alabama nigga. That's how I Ooh, said it. Okay, no. So you don't like me and I don't like you. We're going to leave it right there. Right, sure. If you got a problem with me, let me know. Right, sure. You know, but, sure. you know, first of all, you clean shave. I don't even like you. Ooh, no mustache. Yeah, not, not, mm-hmm. a, not a nan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, they got mm-hmm. baby booties face. Hell no. Man I don't face, trust baby. no man like that. Yeah, oh, baby booties face, face and everything. Okay. 
And so call yourself supposed to be a there? pastor. Boy, you ain't Hell no pastor no. acting like you act. Ooh, okay, okay. So let, let, let's get into the comedy realm. So when okay. did you start walking into doing stuff? You got here. You did a little bit back in Denver. I guess we said, uh, you know. Not even long. I did, went on stage, got the hunger, and left. And you came here. Yeah. So when you came here now, this is the early 90s. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is when they had Michael Williams had the Comedy Act Theater over on Peachtree Street. Oh, no, uh, Midtown. That, well, Midtown. Midtown, right. And, and Martin, first person I seen over there, I went up there and I seen Martin Lawrence. Okay. And Martin Lawrence was on the road. Okay. And that's when Martin Lawrence was becoming the hot one. Right, sure. And he was like the it. Right, sure. And Jamie them. Uh, Fox. Fox, Jamie Fox and and a lot of the other comedians were doing it before me. Right, sure, sure, but, sure, sure, sure. And they were coming from L.A., getting sure. paid, coming oh, yeah. from L.A, oh, yeah. doing me? it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, getting paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I remember seeing you. I you, was getting time. No, not you, paid. no you, you was tearing that ass up, though. You was tearing that stage <laughs> up. I ain't gonna lie. But let me ask you, was any comics before you got into on stage that you looked up to? As, you know, Because you had a lot of energy. Were you like a Robin Williams fan or something like that? I was. Yeah, I can see yeah, I was yeah. a Robin Williams fan. Right, right. I was a Flip Wilson fan. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. A lot of... A lot of black comedians. Richard Pryor was that go-to. Richard Pryor wasn't the go-to for me. Okay. I just thought he was funny, right. but he wasn't my go-to. Right. Sure. Um, my go-to were, like and I said, Carol Burnett. Okay. Okay. Still love okay. the show. Okay. Uh, a lot of people don't even know who Red Skelton is. Oh come on, I do. Yeah, Red, yeah, Red yeah, yeah. Skelton. Oh, no, we drop it back. Yeah. In. Yeah. yeah. Um, I used to kind of look at a lot of stuff with right. him. Now, now when mm -hmm. I remember seeing you, and we see you on Comic View, because you really, ex you're a very explosive comic. Come on, let's be real. You're a yeah. very explosive comic. It's, um, you give a lot of energy, but you, you, by 10 minutes into the set, your ass is wet, drenched up, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Whatever you got on is drenched, gotcha. shit, okay? So, it, you know, um, very animated. Mm -hmm. um, there's times, you know, we were talking here, there's times, you know, you over-sexualize or femaleish sexualize yeah. that people have thought you were gay. A lot of comics say, you know, I, you know, I think you're gay. I'm going to be gay. I had one call me out. Are you gay? Are you asking me? Yeah, I mean, we're here now. Nigga. Uh, I've never been gay. <laughs> right. Never thought about being right. gay. We'll never be gay. Right. Okay. And if I had to go to jail, I'm still not going to be gay because I'm going to be the man in there. <laughs> I heard that. You understand? I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pick the biggest. Right. right. I'm going to pick the biggest dude in right. there and say, look, right. man, ain't nothing personal. <laughs> but I got to beat your ass and dick you down. <laughs> so everybody else know. That shit, that you like, my bitch. But right, right, I right. can't. <laughs> just type back here, cuz I can't have you going up in it. I know that's right. Can't have you going up in the Peter Bill. That's right. <laughs> Peter Bill. Let me say this, say this shit. <laughs> now, I know you ain't gay, but but my yeah. question is this: How do you feel people think like that? You know about? I you don't feel. You don't think nothing because I don't really care. Okay. Okay. Now, until you pay a bill for me. Oh shit. Okay. Until you, um, I depend on you to survive. Mm -hmm. Until you step in the place of God Almighty, I don't mm -hmm. care what you think. Cool. And I and 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 then I put and I put like a gay crew around me. I don't care. You say you have a gay crew, or you will put it. Yeah, right you know, I, I will. Oh my, yeah, oh yeah. You know, work for you I, I don't care. Right. Sure. 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 I I don't um, I don't judge a person, their character if they're gay or not. And I know a lot of people thought I was gay. Really. And then a lot, and you even hear the back talk. Right. Yeah, sure. Come on. Sure. 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 Come on. So there's one. Yeah. Uh, even had a comedian that was calling me gay, and it was kind of not recent, recent, but you know who he is. Of course, you know, that's, a, that's low hanging fruit. But but, but but he said it to a young lady that knew me, right? And she let me know. So when I finally seen him, I stepped to him. Sure, sure. Say, hey man, uh, what are we gonna do? We can either we can take this to the street, or you can sit down and listen to me. And y'all sat and down. And we can talk. And y'all sat down? Yeah, or he we kept sat it, down. You went in the streets, though. Huh? You didn't go to the streets. Yeah, I would have heard about that. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. You know, you ain't somebody to be fucking with. Yeah, I'm, I'm just me. saying. I Trust me. I, I, but what I told you, you know, that's not right what you did. I've sure. done nothing but always be nice to you right. and your son. Right. Right. Well, uh, yeah, 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 I don't get that. Because I, I think it's such low hanging fruit in the black community. He gay. Yeah. He gay. You know, you don't call him a child molester. You don't call him a wife beater. You know, they don't care yeah. about you gay. And everybody You're just gay. loses it. That's like, it. Why, why is it so quick to be gay? You know, like, this gay is like. That the and what if a person is, is gay? What does it change about you? Sure. Who, who you are? If Pierre was gay, right. how's Pierre going to change what I am? Sure. Barnes was gay. 
How am I going to change what Pierre is? Is it the fear that they feel, some might, men feel like they might, gay people might come after them, start trying to talk to them? Like, no. you can't control yourself? Say, nigga, I ain't gay. Move it all. gives them a stigmatism. Mm. You know, because gay used to be taboo amongst blacks to talk used about. Used to be? Oh, talk, okay, okay. To talk about. Okay. It used to be sure, very sure, taboo. Sure. You were in the church, don't mm-hmm. let me find out you're gay. Um, gay is a. Have I had gay dudes that used to hit on me? Of course. Yeah, I did too. In my, yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I have people inbox at me. I'm like, play it now. No, son. Yeah. Play. No disrespect, but I understand you fine as hell. Oh, nigga, keep it moving. Yeah. Thank you, but just keep it moving. Yeah. You know, that, that's not my thing. I, I don't like to even like, I, I, I appreciate being a fan, but, you know, certain things, if that's yeah. not what I am, that's not what I am. It's so. not what you are. Right, right. And, so keep it moving with and, that. And, and, and let me tell you something. When people would think that I was gay, mm-hmm. a lot of time I wouldn't care, but it was kind of, a compliment to me because mm. that means that I was doing what I was doing. I was convincing you. I was in I was in your mind that I'm gay. You saw me if I did a, a bit and you say, Oh, he do that too well. Thank you. Oh, I see what you're saying. That yeah, means yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. it right. I'm I'm making it believable. But why can't they just say you're a good actor? Because I'm not because I'm not acting. I'm a comedian at that at that point. So it's not about acting. It's about comedy it's about doing a bit it's not the same you can't act the, you can't act the part you can't act like your sister we we can act it but they're not thinking of us as acting right there. right right we're right. not actors right there we're comedians with gestures mm-hmm. this can be like i do characters i can do characters sure. I'll, I'll throw a voice sure you know if, if i'm if i'm sitting down like hey tell you what <laughs> don't let them goddamn liberals just get up on you right right they're fuck their mind fuck you. Right. i swear to god right you don't hear me right you hear somebody that right. you saw in a store right. in the sure. hill in the hill somewhere. Sure, sure. Am I acting? Right. I think it, I, I kind of think it is. Okay. Yeah, I think it that's, is. I mean, that's a, but here's it's the funny a good thing question. about that. Here's the thing about that. Don't nobody say he country for real. Because it don't matter. Exactly. But if you're not, a gay it's person, not, it's not you're gay for real. Right. I guess being gay is harmful. See, that's to a lot of people. A lot of people uh, uh, have a phobia. Why do you have a phobia about being gay? I could have been gay. Right. I, and the reason I say I could have been gay. Uh, could have been. Yeah. The reason I'm saying that is because my um, the uh, uh, athletic director in Fort Hood, Texas, mm-hmm. I didn't know this till I was an adult. I got on the radio one day and was talking about how he uh, tried to molest me mm-hmm. as, a, as, as a youngster in Fort mm-hmm. Hood, Texas mm-hmm. at 13. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, I get a call from somebody that's grown that I play football with. He done went down the whole line and got about eight or nine black boys uh, and, and um, went further. I mean, did them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right, they right. tell me this is grown men. And I didn't even know that he was messing with the black boys like that. Right. But I don't think you could have been gay. You could have been molested. Because if you're not born, no, no, no. that's to well, me. Well, what, what I mean by, well, okay, let me rephrase okay. that. Not being gay, but I could have had that done to me so much to where I wanted to do it to some little boy. Oh, wow. You know, Ooh, well, that's how a lot that. of that times, mm-hmm. a lot of that stuff starts because it's happened to them. But they're not gay. They're just doing gay acts because you're still not gay. You're just doing that to another well, young boys. See, there's another good question, Pierre. That's uh, what I'm here. Have a seat. Pull that up. Shit, what are we here for? <laughs> how, how can we determine if that's gay or not? What do you mean is gay or not? Because you said that's not being gay. But if I mess with little boys, then I go mess with a grown man. Am I gay now? What do you mean? If, if, you if, mess if with, I right? mess with right. teenage boys, right, right, because right. of what happened right. to me, sure. Sure. I started liking teenage boys. Right. Sure. Then all of a sudden, there's a grown man, right. and you continue to do that. And I continue. Am I gay? Well, you know what? If you continue to do that, you might have been gay from the rip. You just didn't know that. That's Somebody why, had to bust that, ass, open that can of worms. That's no why pun intended. I'm saying, how do we know that? But it all could have stemmed from what happened to me. You know, like a lot of a lot of girls become quote unquote what they call a hoe that's because somebody in their family was sitting up there molesting them and and putting a grown man's thing in in her you know and putting her mind there and she right. and that's all she knows right and she grows up and she that's turning this stuff this stuff it it, it refeeds itself but i i believe i yeah, that's a little different i, I think mm. you, you have sex with a woman a lot they and they become hoes. That's that's yeah, but that don't mean she was born that way. Can, can you be no, born no, a hoe? No, no, you're not born. Okay, but you be born gay to me. I don't know. I believe so. I used to say no. Why did you say no? The reason I said no is because 
And I used to do a joke. Remember that joke I did about it? He said, how you going to be born gay? Come out. <laughs> how you going to come out my baby, gay? My babies ain't born like that. They don't do wham like that. I know, but I, know, I made it as a joke because I really don't know. And I'm just being honest. Right. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, you're not born in the gayism. It just becomes, mm. it becomes a part of you or what you see and what you feel as a youngster. Because what's the youngest gay kid you know? Well, no, you can see little kids that are like four or five. When they, once they have a personality, that they got a little once, bit of sissiness in them. What is the youngest gay kid Three. you know? How about that, nigga? Okay. You know what, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> okay. How about that? Okay. Now we're three. Okay. 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 Well, shit. Three degrees. Okay. Now. okay. All right. It's all the way they suck that pacifier. Okay. And they just start changing. Like, hold up, player. Oh, Lord. Uh, but no, I just think. <laughs> oh my I, 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 God. I, 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 all right. What's the youngest thug you know? Criminal act. When nigga wind up being a criminal in jail. What's the youngest? Youngest that? one I know. Yeah. Nine. Okay. So at three, you didn't know he was he was a, a thug. He turned into be a thug. So was he born a thug? You know, he might have thug, thug characteristics. Was he born a thug? Yes, when he's snatching shit from other toy kids How and take that from him. How do you come out born a thug? Well, well, no, he became a thug as he grew up as a baby. Because of what, Pierre? Because it's what his personality Because hold on. Have you ever seen some kids? Because of in what a, he's seen? What, I don't know what he's he's, seen. The way he's treated in the environment? Okay, well, okay. So he can't be born that way? Oh, my God. Can you be born smart? No, well, and this is what you put in your no, mind. No, no, Ooh, no. We're doing church the reason, doing church. the reason you can be born smart, because that is something introvertically put into you. Am what? I, am I, that is no, something no. that is transferred no. down. Mm -mm. Why do you think they have genetics? You don't think gay is turn? You don't think you could? You could be. All right. I'm saying. All right. I don't know. All right. As long as you ain't gay, we good. I mean, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you do on stage and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what I've heard people say. I'm like, what? I'm nah, the fuck out of here. Nah. All right, let, let's talk about. So you went to Hollywood to pursue, become that star you wanted to be. Yeah. Because I remember where you live. I mean, you live around the corner from me, okay? I live right next door to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to look at your window. You had no furniture, man. You was doing all right, brother. Yeah. I was trying to help you out, brother. <laughs> your shit was empty as hell. That window was open. I thought it was a crime scene in that bitch. I thought somebody was moving out every week and shit. Like, you know, no, yeah, no furniture. Every time he's on the phone, it was a, it was a, it was a echo. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Pierre, Pierre. I'm like, damn, nigga, what you need? A rug up in there? Something? No, I'm fucking with shit. There's a no. reason why he kept looking in my house, though. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I, 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 I was know, trying to, maybe he saw somebody gay in there. Oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you crazy? It's all out to um, all right, a video you had, you you were in, you were in that um uh, motherfucking G, real motherfucking G video. People don't know that you right. took over. Uh, 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 what's his name? The rest of the piece. Uh, AJ Johnson played Ezel. Now her Suge Knight was pissed off. It's my story. I'm saying right. Yeah. And then you went into that gate, gave you the part, and you pretty much ended the rest of the video. For those who don't know, it was called Real M. Real Compton City G's. Real Compton. City G's. Real Compton City, okay. Real Compton City G's. My man BG uh, Knockout was on it. Shout out to my man BG Knockout. He was in it too. Yeah. But it was an Easy E song. So how yeah. they how they play? Down, 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 down. down. <laughs> He's stupid, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You did a good job. I watched it and I was like, where is, which ones are in there? When did you start in the video? When was your, your part? My part was. Uh, Falling over, getting knocked down every time? That was you doing Well, no, down? I was the one that was chasing. They couldn't catch. Yes. They told me to slow down. I know that's right. But I said, dude, I, I said. The whole hood was chasing you too. Yeah, but I was like, he was like, tell me to slow down. I said, dude, I, first of all, I got on pants at a dragon. Y'all can't catch me. I'm an athlete. I right. play ball. What? What you want? I mean, I was getting. It. I didn't know I was moving that fast right. until I really seen it. I said, right. "Oh, I was going kind no, of fast." No, you were. You was. Yeah, you know, curl going back like that. Yeah, easy. Now you, you did. A, you know, you did a great. You did a great but, job. But man. the 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 backstory on that, mm -hmm. which you are so right, because Shook Knight told AJ Johnson, Ezel, right, rest in peace, mm -hmm. rest in peace, that he couldn't do the video. Because you know AJ did uh, Dre Day, Dre Day, mm -hmm. and he and Shook said you can't do the video. He said, "Well, why?" He said, "Man, I, I'm I'm cool with both right, of y'all." Right, right. He said, "You can't do that video." So AJ Johnson called me. He said, "Hey, man, they're gonna give you a thousand dollars to do right. this video." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know he took his cut. Hell no. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars to do this video." Cause I said, "Okay," right. you know me. I'm okay. Right. Uh, I get a call from A.J. Johnson. Arnez, and he's hype. Arnez, man, where you at? I said, I'm at my apartment. What's up? Man, 
shook them, and I guess he was in the studio, the office with him. Man, shook them, don't believe that was you that played the part of uh, Easy. Uh, Easy Man. They want you to come up here, man, and uh, so and so they can see you and stuff, right? And I can hear little people in the background, right? I mean, hear people in the background. And I went just like this, hand to God. I said, okay, not a problem. I said, but, but let me look, let me look, let me let you know this when I come up there. I said, my heart don't pump no water. I know that. Kool Aid too. All right, that's right. My heart don't pump no water. So ain't no fear up in there. No. Nah. Right. Nah. What's gonna be is gonna be. Right. Sure. I'll sure. come out and help you out. Right. But then he calls me back when I'm getting ready to go out the house. Oh man, they said, man, don't don't worry about it. Never mind. Woo! You about to bring that smoke? You about to bring that smoke? Smoke. Lord of Truth. I know that's right. Pork and beans. Mm. Damn. I, I mean, I might have been dealt with, but. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. That's, no, no, hell no, they ain't, you ain't the one. So let me ask you, so how was it when you found it, when you got Comic View? Did it change your life dramatically, man? You I, think it, I think it did. Okay. I think it changed uh, my life. It was 2002, I think it was, 2003. The right? only unfair thing I thought, but I didn't, I, 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 not because of the person. Okay. They cut the season in half with me and Bruce Bruce. Bruce, Bruce yep. Because I think he wanted the whole season because they were gonna bring him back for a season, another season. Right. But they wanted me to do the season, then they, I guess they came to some type of agreement. And I wasn't mad at Bruce. Right. I mean, you get what you get. Ask for what you want. You know, we all, you know, we're young, but hey, that little part that I did, right. it stood out. How many and episodes? Cause he did Caliente, I, I kind of, I don't know. I did Caliente. You did too. Caliente too. Yeah, did both, did y'all both do Caliente? I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, right, right, right. So how many episodes? I'm the one that transferred it over to J. Anthony Brown. I remember that year. I handed yeah. the rings to him. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But um, Caliente, no, that was mine. That was down in Miami. Miami, okay. It was my okay. neck of the woods. Right, 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 right. Had you really hosted? Because you really had just was headlining then. Had you ever hosted before? Really? Never. Really, right. Never hosted. Right. You know, your problem is you be outshining the fucking axe, man. You got to calm your monkey ass down, bro. Let, you know, us, let us shine when we're on the show. I've always had a warrior's mentality. It ain't about <laughs> who you are. It's about what I need to do. I heard, okay, now. I've always had a warrior's mentality. <laughs> right. When I... Um, I got picked to do the Showtime All Stars with Don Rickles after they had already seen 532 comedians. I was only what? I was only in comedy t two months. No. And, yeah. Really? That was the Bay Area competition where I came mm -hmm. in second. To who? Ricky Har Rick Harris, but okay, he was managed by the head. <laughs> I, we, me and Don DC Curry were just talking about on, on one of his shows. He was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I fuck, yeah. Shout so, out to Tony Spires. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what up, Tony? <laughs> I understand. Yeah, it's all I understand. Good. Because, um, because they first they brought in AJ. They flew AJ Johnson down. Really? In a helicopter, I guess. No. Because the talk was about me okay. doing that Bay Area. They thought AJ Johnson was going to come down and rip, and rip the stadium apart. Oh. Mm -mm. God bless him. Yeah, he, he wasn't a full fledged comedian. He, right, he didn't come through the game but, like we did. <laughs> but I'm down there. I'm not even trying to go to war with nobody. But I'm trying to be the best. Okay. So um, after that is when I met uh, J. P. Uh, Williams, um, uh, uh, agent manager. Agent. Yeah. JP, oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah him I'm and, 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 and they came up to me and said, "Look, I know you don't have management. We love to manage you, but they got." Uh, uh, one more, uh, they got an audition for the Showtime All Stars. I was only in common, I think. No, no, I'm lying. Maybe six months. So okay, I still baby. Right, right. So I flew down to L.A. Went to the uh, uh, Laugh Laugh Factory. They had already seen over 532 comedians. I was the very. They was getting ready to close the show. No. They went up and said, "Oh, well, we got one more comedian that's gonna come up." And already like 25 or 30 had went up. Soon as I went up, got off the stage, dude came over and said, welcome to the Showtime All-Stars. Dope, dope, dope. So I thought. Okay. We did it at Caesars Palace, mm -hmm. Lake Tahoe. Don Rickles was the host. Wow, okay. I'd say the average age was 40 and up. At least with Don Rickles, yeah. 40, and 50 yeah. and up. Maybe. And white. Yeah, it looked like I was at a nursing home special. Hell no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I mean, I was, uh, Golden man, Girls, too. And they mm -hmm. wasn't selling drinks. They was selling Depends. Come on, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, man. Be respectful. Be respectful. <laughs> I am. Hey, hey, let's be respectful. I mean, 
<laughs> hey, where the dress is from? Nice. Okay, yeah, there like, you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, it depends a lot of floor, a lot of floor prints. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, there was a lot of nurses there. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, <damn>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just saying, we're gonna be that way someday. Yeah, fuck, yeah you're right. Yeah. So, I wouldn't. so I went on stage, I did my thing, and it was not the best. Okay. But I was better than majority. It, yeah, my not best was better than. Sure. But I admit it was not the best. I was lost because it was like I was fed to the wolves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did my comedy. Not any. Let me tell you, when they came to me and said they were going to edit me out and they cut me, they paid me. That's my first $7,000 pay, Jay. I thought $7,000. That's a lot of money. Who, what? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying this. I'm buying this. Yeah, I'm buying sure, this. I'm buying sure, this. Sure, sure. They 7, cut. 000, they yeah, cut, cut me out. out. Mm. And I was on the show with um, uh, Panetti. Oh, yeah, John Panetti. Don, John Panetti. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was the last one, I think. And now they so loved him. They loved. <laughs> yeah, that was John. John, yeah, and yeah. he was the coolest yeah. dude. Yeah. Now here's where my feelings got. It. Well, you know, my feelings gonna be hurt anyway. I'm young. Right. Sure. I'm just getting into this business. I'm rolling. I'm doing my thing. I don't know what defeat is. Mm. You, it's, on, it's on the end of your ankles. No, <laughs> defeat. Not right, like defeat. not French. Like defeat. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Je te <un> monde. <laughs> like okay. defeat. Like I've been defeated. Right. Somebody snatched this from me. Sure. I didn't know what to do. My head was going this. I thought the career was over, and it mm-hmm. kind of semi was because once that something like that goes through, because they swear to God, they was thinking that I was going to be the next Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. They was getting ready to light me up like that. Sure. But what hurt me is when I I watched it, the Showtime All Stars mm-hmm. when it mm-hmm. came on you Showtime. Sure. sure. At the end, they edited me out. You're not going to believe me. None of y'all are going to believe me when I tell you this. All right. When all the comedians came back on stage, guess who wasn't on stage? You. But guess who was on stage? You. My my ankles and my shoes. Oh, I believe that. You don't believe that? I believe that. I believe that. All you could see, they cut me out, but you could see my socks and my Reeboks. Same ones I wore, wore on Def Jam. You were defeated, and they showed defeat. They showed my feet. <laughs> I was the invisible man. <laughs> <laughs> not they from the from the from the sock on up you see nothing but you saw my shoes and my socks you know you you remind you have i feel you have a personality of like i'm gonna show you motherfuckers i do you 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 know you know when it comes especially with your, your stage performance like you can push me you can say i'm not one of the best you can say i'm not one of the kings whatever blah 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 yeah. i'm this or that but when i grab this microphone I'm going to show you and what time it is. that's all that mattered. I, I, I can see that. Every time I see you perform, you yeah. give it your all. Every I never see you relax and kind of kind of call it in, you know, phone it in. I've seen you in concerts. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. You always, and I, I do the same thing. Like, yeah. I'm going to show you why, what, what y'all missing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I, I feel you on that. So with that being, because you know, we had a lot of energy. So from there, I didn't realize you had this. You had, you just talked about it. You had a beef with my man, uh, Ricky Smiley for a while. <laughs> for a long while y'all didn't talk I to did. each other and I see did. a lot of you don't realize a lot of times comics have beefs yeah. you don't realize that and I'm, I'm gonna get to the Ricky Smiley one I got there, you. there was one now you, you clear this out to me I was and I, I was in Detroit you know where I'm going with it yeah I do and you were at a comedy club another comic was at a comedy club they have a similar personality uh-huh. similar energy mm. and either you or him I think you went to where he was at I did and you wanted to let's say um you know, it's it air an opportunity air. between y'all, and y'all, you, were, you were getting closer to the clearing the opportunity. I mean, yeah, I was. clearing the air. I was. And it almost got to the point where, or it did get to the point where I wasn't there, that some physicality was presented. Well, um, something had occurred, and my cousins, mm-hmm. who are gay, mm-hmm. all females. Okay saw this person performing mm-hmm. in Nashville. Mm-hmm. And I was in Nashville at another club, Zany's. Mm-hmm. And my name came out of his mouth. Ooh, in a negative light? In a negative light. Oh, that's not good. They called me and said, well, I'm just telling you, they was getting ready to do him. Damn, no. females? Yes. Ooh, okay, now And he wasn't gonna know it. Over oh, no. a joke, over the well, No, I, he, the more. because of his mouth. Okay. And 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 I told them leave him alone. 
Okay. Do not touch him. Right. You'll handle it. I got it. Right. So when I get to Detroit, before I get there and I'm going there, remember the, the gentleman that got killed that owned the comedy oh, yeah. club? Joe? Joe. Mm -hmm. He called me. He said, hey, man, somebody talking about you. Then when he told me the person, I said, I just told him to leave you alone. Wow. So that's how that occurred. Okay. I went there and uh, Is it approached squash? him. Okay. Is it squash? No, it's not. And I'm going to tell you why it's not. Okay, I, I want to know this. I wasn't there. When you went there, and then what happened? Why, 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 why? He and went up and did almost a three-hour set. Damn. I, I couldn't wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right. So that's why and, it was And squash. if they were going to tell the truth, then they would tell the truth. Right. And then if they were to get mad and start up again, uh, are you just going up my alley now? Right, right, right. That's kind of what I want you right, to do. Right, right. But <laughs> right. Is it something you, it can be squashed? I mean, yeah, that's years no, ago. No. It, 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 okay, no, 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 no. It's not just me, though. And and I and I try to tell this brother, there's a lot of people that still feel that way about this person. Oh, okay. And the only reason I don't think it can be squashed because the personality would have to change. You'd have to want to be a grown man. Mm, okay. And talk grown talk sure. Sure. with another grown person. Sure. Sure. So that's the only reason why I think it. But I I hope him nothing. Sure. Right. But great things right. in his life and you're open to squashing it is it's, he cha it's really changing? it's really nothing to squash okay okay because it's just one of those things hey man do your thing right first of all y'all not gonna be on the same show ever nah right nah, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah right. Nah. okay okay well then there, then he yeah knows that. yeah just right. you live do your you life and, and i do mine yeah and i do mine but it'd be nice for him to stop talking about you well, i think he ha has he i mean i don't know oh, i don't hear no I more don't, i don't well if you haven't heard no more than he hasn't so let's go past that yeah now a bigger one the bigger fish was ricky smiley Yes. I, now it's funny that a lot of people don't realize, and something just went down recently, a while, a couple, a couple of weeks ago, um, with two titans in Houston that I was surprised about. But a lot of times comics don't like each other, man, and we don't know Whole that. A bunch man. of comedians don't like yeah, each other. Yeah, man. I, you know. This is a jealousy game. This is about jealousy, because wow, you two could really probably two comedians could probably appreciate each other, and one of them wasn't a comedian. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Mm. And the reason you really never fell into that air, right. who you were, your tone was different. Mm -hmm. Nobody was was itchy scratchy like you. Mm -hmm. You're more like itchy scratchy, right. but mm -hmm. funny. Right, sure. The funniest joke, because he's he's fidgety. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, he here. he's fidgety. Oh, I got your new crew. Next time you come in, it's different. <laughs> you see shitting on the whole different different crew here. But you're you're <laughs> fidgety, but right? Sure. It was a funny fidget because that's your personality. Sure. You never started nothing with nobody that I know of. I didn't, yeah. Um, I loved you. Right. Your, my, your fa your, my favorite comedy bit of yours right. is when you got shot at oh, McDonald's. Sure. McDonald's. True story. That's the funniest thing. When you said, <laughs> whoa, wait a minute, <laughs> to the shooter. Right. He ain't been shot. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Why are you yeah, giving them all to me? Yeah. I thought I was going to leave this earth. <laughs> really? The point is made, man. The point was made, bro. You had to keep on shooting on me. I yeah. thought I was yeah, going to yeah. leave this love that earth. Joke. Yeah, no, that was the joke. Right. That joke to me, mm -hmm. if it would have been in the right setting, it would have got you a deal. Mm -hmm. It would have got you a deal right. if you'd have had that right opportunity. Mm -hmm. You had to look. Mm hmm but you were in our realm and you wasn't on fire enough. Right, sure, sure. You, you understand what sure, I'm saying? Sure, sure. Like, like Robin Harris was mm -hmm. on fire enough because it was all about him. Mm -hmm. it, other comedians went to the comedy house, not to see the other comedians, but they wanted to see Robin right, Harris right, right, as right. an MC. Right, sure. Right, right, right. So, right. But you were, go back to Ricky, and Ricky Smiley. So, mm -hmm. so long, y'all be for 20 some years, he said. Y'all say say 20 some years? Well, Come I'm not on. okay. I, I'm I'm gonna say this. Right. I love both of y'all too, man. I, I don't mean, know. I, I don't. Whatever happened between Ricky and I? To me, it doesn't matter because you had two grown men come back together like two grown brothers mm -hmm. that showed grown love. Sure. So. 
I was doing me and he was doing him. I never put it out there in the public's eye. Sure. The people that know what happened, they know what happened. I never really heard Ricky talk about me. I just mm -hmm. knew what people came and said, what he said. Right, sure, sure, sure. I love Ricky to death. Right. And the reason that I love Ricky, because when we met, that's why I say. Recently. God did this, though. When I say God did this, right. I mean God did this. Right, sure. Because how I am, and, and I need to work on it. It'll probably never change, but it's how I am. Mm -hmm. Once you have tried to hurt me, mm -hmm. I'm going to step away from you, and I'm done with you. But if you come up to me, I'm going to give you the opportunity to go ahead and clear that air. Mm. I'm easy to talk to. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But when you, when, you, when you mess up with me, people say, well, why you hold so long? I didn't hold anything long. I'm just done with you. I'm not holding it. I'm not talking bad about you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I won't even perform with you. Right, right. Like the other person. Right. I'm not even saying that I won't even perform with you. Right, sure, sure, sure. I got love for you. It's in there. But you got to come to me. Because you felt you were wronged? You had to be felt you, you were wronged in that scenario. Exactly. Okay. okay. And Ricky might have felt that he was wrong. Right. This is why I said this is what God does. Mm -hmm. What he did. I don't know if Ricky's ever told you, but talked to him. I had him on I, here. Oh, okay. Well, I, I was on a plane. Right. This is before the plane scene, so he didn't talk about that. Yeah, but I right. was on a plane, mm -hmm. and I was in the wrong seat. I said, oh, my seat is behind. I'm the next seat back. As I get up to go to that seat behind, guess who my seat partner is? Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley. And when we saw each other, it was an automatic hug and a smile and a laugh. So that let you know right then, both of us want to see each other. Right, 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 right. And, and that's what I want to ask you. The man that you are now, you would have changed. Would, would you have spoken to him 20 years ago? When it, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Who you are now. Do you think it's better to resolve? Because what you did happen, we can't stay, take that time back. But what about the next young generation or the other comedians? Or other people who are right now, two comics beefing right now. They can sit there and say, I ain't speaking. Unless they may never sit on a plane together at the right time. Got it. What would you tell somebody saying, you know what? I fucked it up. I, I, should, I should have been talked to them. Or I should have. Whatever. Do you think? You should have. I don't want to tell anybody to surrender their right of who they are. But what I would tell them is, is it worth the journey of negativity? If you were wronged by somebody, is it worth to keep feeding that in your head? Or is it worth to say, can we talk about it? Sure. And that would be up to them. Right. But it's easier to move along with positive things without a negative background. It's easier to move along forward without a negative background. Clear your background. Clear it up. Right, but you didn't want to do that with Ricky for all those years. That's not right. That's not true. See what you didn't hear me oh, say. Right, 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 right. And you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You, 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 you heard, but you didn't listen. Oh, damn. On my damn show. Yep. Keep it going. I'm listening. Okay, okay, okay. Because, it's, it's, it, no, it's not that I didn't want to clear it. Oh, my God, I wanted to clear it. Because I still had love for him. Sure. I wasn't going to clear it. Because my what I stated was what I stated. And I felt like you just said. I felt I was in the wrong. I'm not going to come. I'm going to give you a prime example right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. My sister and I haven't spoke since my brother passed almost three years now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We haven't spoke. And, and that's my baby sister. Mm -hmm. But she, we haven't spoke because of what she did. And what she said and what she put out there in social media. So I said, okay, that's the way you feel. That's the way I'm going to let you have it. You'll need me before I need you. That's my attitude. Somebody would say, 
Well, man, grab your little sister and talk to her. Mm -mm, because that's not teaching you the lesson. That's not teaching you the lesson. Okay, okay. Not a lesson, right. the lesson. Okay. The lesson is, if you come to me, I'm here. My arms are always open because the only person you're hurting is my nephew. All right, let me, let me tell you something. There's a couple of comedians that I had beef with Mm -hmm. That people didn't know about. One, they wound up coming out, but I kept it quiet. Got it. You know, I said, I'm going to do me. I'm got not going to do that. They shit it on me. Okay. Got you. Got it. Got one it. I'm with you. One nigga didn't pay me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm with your you. Fault. Not my fault. I ain't do nothing but perform. You ain't pay me. And you went to right. him. Right, right. Well, no, no. So I was like, well, you screw him. You know what I'm saying? Screw him. A couple of them screwed him. I, I don't need you. I'm going to. When I would see them, I'd walk by. I have a certain feeling about. I'm, I'm human. I, I'm whack ass nigga, whatever. I kept it moving. Got you know, you. whatever. You know, I'm human. Got you. I got you. I could say it didn't bother me, but. You know, it is a little if. And when I decided to go back to California a couple of years ago, I said, you know what? I'm going to clear the air with all these people. So I went, I seen him in clubs and I walked up to him. I said, man, look, I'm going to apologize for how I handled it. Not for what you did. Nigga. It was funky. I didn't tell him that part, but I, how I handled it. I shouldn't have handled it that way. And the relief on each person's face was like, yo, P, man, my bad, man. You know, I was like, wow. Got it. The, so two people had 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 it hanging in the air. Got I could have said, nigga, you gonna come to me because you shit on me. I got it. But each one of them, and it made me feel better too. I'm got human. It. I need to feel better too. Uh -huh. And all those people, I said, you know what? You know, it's funny. I'll, I'll make this name. This is not a curse. I beef, but it's funny how people always want to have me and Corey Holcomb go against each other. I'm like, I don't have a problem with Corey, man. Now, if he talks about my ass, I'm gonna talk about his ass. Gotcha. But I don't hate him. So people so around us want go get him. Uh, uh, I ain't want to book y'all two together. I thought y'all had beef. Man, I could work with Corey all day long, man. Yeah. I'm a problem with him, man. I'm right. not gonna let that bother me like that. Now, if I see him in public, we run into each other. You no, know, we'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, either, I'm not gonna right. call him up. And yeah, run to right, him, but, but, but I will. I he, won't say you gotta come to me and talk no, to me. No, no, I'm not. Go no, no, because no. no lesson. The lesson you're talking about. She had to learn a lesson. How about you being a bigger person and not worry about teaching somebody a lesson? And what you want me to do? So you know what, sister? I didn't like what happened. Well, hold on. I didn't like what happened. I love you, but I didn't like uh -huh. what happened. Right now, you know. Do you know what happened? See, it's a level of deepness, too. Oh, it depends well, on what you do. Lay, lay down on the couch. Nigga. Yeah. Okay. Hey, <laughs> it, 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 it depends on what you do and how it's presented. That's why I said there are some that when you ask me that question, right. will it be clear? I said no, because our personality has to change oh, okay. in order for it to be clear. Because what I don't like is disingenuine. Okay. Okay. Don't be disingenuous with me. I'd rather you still not like me mm -hmm. and let me just respect you not entering my territory, me entering your territory, but I'm giving you that respect. I'm not talking about you. I'm giving you that respect. But don't come to me, shake my hand, and then you the devil. You walk by, yeah, I'll shuck that little punk ass nigga's hand. I really won't you. Don't do me like that. Right, right, sure. And you think she still has that energy? I think my sister, I think my sister miss me. I think she does too. Because I miss her. Sure. But I won't be calling her. Okay. Arnett and I told you I need to work her. on it. Arnett sister. Then I said I need out, to work on. Reach out and call my boy, your brother. He loves you. Let's squash this, man. And it's been three years. Let's squash it. <laughs> that sounded so nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn it, that's what I said. That sounded, sounded so. Uh, that sounded uh, like I, 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 I sounded so nice. Oh, I could squash anything with anybody, but I gotta feel a genuine, genuine right. I feel you. in you. Well. Because well, I don't have time to play games with you. But I approached these people not knowing how genuine they were. And when I approached them and we spoke, they, I could tell the relief I, on it. So you don't know until you speak to her how genuine she may be happy okay. that you do it. Those people that you did, right. those comedians, right. Problem, right. I'm, giving you, I'm giving you your man ring. You, you, did, you did well. Thank you. You, you man wrong that. Okay. Because you ain't going to waste time filtering energy of hatred with those two. Sure, sure. I don't know but that. here's the thing with me. I don't hate not none of them. I don't dislike right, none sure, of them. Sure, I, know. I got love for one of them. Two of them, I ain't got love for. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 you can't make me love somebody that I don't love. Not saying that you're trying. Mm -hmm. You can't make me love somebody that I don't love. You can't make me want to talk to somebody that I don't feel that they're going to be genuine. Why am I talking? To, I'm not losing no sleep over them. Because y'all both miss each other. No, I'm talking about all oh, the comedians. Yeah, oh. I'm not losing no sleep. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm still living a good life. Right. I'm happy. I don't worry about them where they're at. They're not gonna change my future. Right. 
Right. Well, I was surprised that I manned up to even do that because for years I could I could just like your ass forever. I'm petty. The guy in petty. You know, yeah. I, I was petty, but I was just like, you know what? I got too much energy to put somewhere else more positive to worry about them. So to me, that's what I I'm said, talking like, about. You know, I, now now had I reached out like I did, and they had a problem. Oh no, no, here I'm opening. Then I'm, I'll be where you at. I don't I don't reached out, homie. You did you, me wrong. And I because reached you out. reached out, right? And now you are gonna still shit on me after I reached out to you to, to say to squash it? I'm not nigga. Okay. Eat dirt, nigga. Now, <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna say this, and mm -hmm. then I'm I'm gonna let it go. Okay, we'll move on. The one that w we were talking about. Mm -hmm. I tried to give him that opportunity. Okay. You still want to try to give you another opportunity. You still want to. Then when I gave you that time to showcase, you do a three-hour set. I'm getting sleepy. I just finished performing. Sure. Now, if you've changed after that, kudos for you. Okay. But I don't think you have because I still hear your name in the streets with other people. About other people. Right. Your name is still carrying the right. same. Right. Even in the new age, in the new schools. Right. So you feel like he hasn't changed at all. That's what I feel. Yeah, I mean, so me he, and him had a little run in, but he, but he, we, we, we cool. But I feel you. Well, you know who y'all. If you change it, no, well, no, nah, we ain't no, 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 no shit. Well, get in twenty years of comedy and then come talk to us. Uh, you know what it is? If if you have felt you, sh you, you know, you think you've changed or whatever, however, his door is always open. We know who he is. His door is always open. I like to see y'all squash it. I'm a squashing kind but of guy. But what you want to squash? See, no, nah, you because way you feel, nigga, shit. I've, well, y'all can't work together. I want y'all to work together one day. Uh, that ain't going to happen. See, there you go. <laughs> Even if I was a squash, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> you ain't shit. Because <laughs> them goomy ghosts might come back. <laughs> okay. Right, <laughs> well, I see where, where you do get relaxed. Uh, you fish, brother. When I say fish, no, y'all, this nigga is a fisherman, okay? <laughs> this man, we, we ain't talking about little guppy. We talking about enough to feed a, 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 a village. Yeah. What is you doing out here, man? You a country boy. That's what you are. You ain't nothing but a country boy. I am. A truck I could show is a country boy. So we all see him on stage with his slacks and his suits. Ain't nothing but a country nigga up there. Yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, <laughs> I'm a country with a, a pinch of education. Okay. Slash crossover right. white. Right, right. <laughs> How long you been fishing? Because you fish fish. All my life. Really? I didn't know that. But I stopped for a long time because I moved away from the ocean. Okay. But then when I went back, I said, I'll never leave you again, baby. I know that's right. What's the biggest I, fish I had, size? I had to rub the water. I'll never leave you again. I love it. What, yeah, what's the biggest like fish you right there? Yeah, I, I hear you. Pap. Uh, that, that, that's what you do. That's, that's how you did the water. Lip, lip, pap, lip. pap. <laughs> you're, you're crazy. What's the biggest size fish you like about that? But, but I saw something like this on, you know, I saw that. That's, on. no. The biggest, biggest fish that I've caught that I ate. Right. I don't throw fish back. What? There's a yellowfin tuna that was like 134 pounds. That's, that's wow. Big, the biggest fish. I've caught probably it was a bull shark that was about almost 300. Uh, bull sharks are real too now. Yeah. Come on. Oh, he was real. Damn. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I We fish with big boys group. And then after, like, people, you know, they get to fish, you see a lot of people throw away the heads and stuff. Right. I had a grouper head that was this big. Wow. There was so much meat up in it. And I put it on um, on my Instagram and what how I made a, a, a grouper head stew, black grouper. I did the same thing. What? I had a groupie head. I put a lot of meat in. Stupid. What you say? You groupie, right? You said wow. groupie. Wow. Oh, yeah, groupie. Katoosh. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of meat up in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, oh my God. We both fishing. We both fishing, okay? I, we got a little different fish we get, okay? Oh, <laughs> you know? right. Quit on it. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm going to burn my eyes out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave with this question here. Do you feel you're, you've been overlooked or underrated? Because of all yeah. this in the comic, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what do you think the reason is? Be honest, man. Some of me, some of um, the clicking. Mm. You don't a lot click. of the clicking. You don't click. I don't click. Mm. Um, but anybody can come to my house, my door's always open, I'll sure. feed you. Sure, sure. Um, and some of the network, and I still, in a lot of cases, I'm still kind of unknown. Yeah, you, but I think a word. You think jealousy? Because I can name about five, six comics that you've toured with, yeah. And they may be a little more known than you, or got little deals, or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, or, yeah. or I see them together more than you. Yeah. Do you think it's a lot of like? Uh, do, do you think you're not respected as a comic amongst people that can meet them kind of comedy? Like, yeah. Now, that's a good question. No, I think I'm respected 
because a lot of times you get respected when you get fear. So no, I don't think I don't think they don't respect me. Right. They may fear you. But would they would they try to help me? Right. I'm not asking for their help, but would they help? No, because it's a it's a eat eat man, get like Kevin Hart. His, his I call him little tuna, he calls me big tuna. We haven't seen each other in a while. He's he's at another stepping stone. Mm-hmm. What I, I mean, no, he, he's there up. So, <laughs> yeah, you. he's up. Yeah, fire oh, by oh, right there. <laughs> okay. So, should I be upset that he's gotten where he's gotten? Not at sure, all. Sure, sure, no. That's a big hug and a squeeze and say, I'm proud of you. Cat Williams was got his thing. I love Cat for one, for what he did for my brother that don't nobody know about. Cat got a good heart. Yeah. People don't understand him sometimes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kevin has a business brain, a good mind. He's a smart individual, and Kevin has a great heart. Yeah, he does too. He has a look, though. He has the same look that the white folks like between Eddie yeah. Murphy, Chris Tucker, Martin Lawrence, and. Uh, and but and he's him. taking it in a same. further direction. More business, more, more business is different yeah. times, so I get that. So, yeah. But mm, for you, yeah. I'm asking, here's my question with you. And I, I love you, so we know it's real shit. But yeah. do you think people sometimes say, oh, he's just silly? He, you know, they could have said he, that. More, they do say that. But, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> because I, I, don't right. I don't right. know. Like you're more silly and not intelligent. You're more goofy. Like, you, know, you're, you're out, you know how you do what you do. You're crazy, all that kind of stuff. Where the other ones were a little higher echelon of the kings of comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're a little yeah, more yeah. smoother. Okay. So maybe they think right. this nigga don't that fit could in be. this. This but, is what a king looked like. This yeah, is what a king but, would. But here's what, what is my job? To my job is the money that you spent, mm-hmm. you satisfy when you go home. There you go. This direction that I take mm-hmm. is the direction that God put me in. Okay. If they saying I'm silly, then I've always been silly. But the thing with me, a lot of people, there's a whole bunch of people, and I'm gonna say this. Mm-hmm. Some people might get mad. Say it. I'm gonna say this. There's a whole bunch of people that are up in the stars further than I am. But there's a whole bunch of people. I get more respect at the bank. Woo, watch your mouth now. I get more respect at the bank. It's about what you got down the road. There's a whole mm-hmm. bunch of people hot for the moment. I'm hot with God forever. Right. Right. I like that. And you know something, man, I'm gonna be very honest. This mm-hmm. really made me uh it's the first time I've re- re- like relaxed and good. This this could go further. Okay. I hope it does. I, I appreciate it, man. I because it. it's there. Yeah, man. I, I the tone, that. the tone is there. My bad. So what we do, man, on my show, we do a little thing called IG creeping. That means we right. go on your IG page. <laughs> oh yeah. Now you know. I don't know if, if you if you posted all these pictures, but we're gonna ask you a question about a couple okay. of them. Okay. We're okay. Pop up. Okay. Right. What was you thinking when you had posted this picture right here? What the hell are you going on, man? Is this is this one the king? That's, that's why you ain't the king of comedy, nigga. Okay, you can't do that and call yourself the king of comedy. I was trying to coat on in Virginia Beach. For what? I was trying. Oh, that coat looks boy. That now, shit look like a game show hey, host. Hey, let me tell you something. Come on down. Yeah. Have you ever had a problem with my dressing on stage? No, but I ain't seen you wear that either. I've, I've worn that. Man, you uh, wear yeah, that, man. I, 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 I've I worn that. You you wore that? Yeah, I was in, I was actually just trying that on. All right. Looking at it in the mirror. Okay, okay. Well, well, well beautiful. All right. Now, my <laughs> other, now that's that. You know, and the pink one back there, boy. Okay, you was where you at for this for this picture? South, somewhere where? down south. You were somewhere down south. No, I was in Virginia Beach. Well, that's south. North that's kind of, yeah. Okay, because look at them suits. All right. What was you thinking when I saw when you was wearing when you did this right here? This right here. What, 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 this how we traveling now? That was RNSJ going. Wow! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you what the know, fishing pole? What, the, what are we doing here, bro? I was going down to West Palm to go fishing. And that's how we dress when we go down? That's, how, that's the traveling look? Uh, I was traveling just like that. I ain't mad at you. You know me. I ain't mad at you. Okay, all right, all right. There's a lot of going on there and shit. Yeah. All right, what about this picture? I was showing you as a fisherman, an athlete, and a businessman. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. You, you had about four. And a part-time golfer. I thought you were going four different places. Nigga. That was. Like, Hell no. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were jump flights. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What about this picture right here? No, come on. I saw the truck. I thought you was a truck man. Oh, this was an ad this is for some sunglasses. This ain't your shit right here. 
This your shit right here? I don't know. Oh, you valet park sometimes? I don't never fake nothing. Oh, okay, you valet park sometimes? I don't never, uh-uh. I was, posing, I was posing for a new cop series. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Hawk 2? Uh, uh, hell no, nah, man, but that's clean, bro. That's clean as that, all that's, out. Uh, that's just one of my right, I think we got one more. One more picture. Come on, one, we got okay, one more picture. Okay. What was you thinking when, uh, do we have another picture? I was it. Oh, well, then we got to stop at this picture right here. Damn. Good. Fly as a motherfucker, boy. I tell you, you've been, you've been doing well. All right. Before we get you out of here, we do a thing on this show called uh, We Spin the Wheel. Okay. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got it. So we got a wheel we have here. And we want you to participate. For those who don't know how, how we go, but my show, people know what we do here. Okay. It's a wheel that has different things on it. Um, we have like, you will get something off your chest. If it lands on there, tell us what you want to get off your chest. The biggest lie you told. So you can tell any of those stories you just told me a few minutes for the last hour and a half. Tell okay. me any one of those. Who you trade places with and why. Okay. Uh, we got a, well, how you lost your virginity. Ooh. You remember, you remember that far back? Yeah. Or was it recently? All right. So <laughs> like said, get some off your chest. So all right. So what we do, you spin it. Where it lands at, we're going to discuss it. All right. Y'all give him a drum roll in here. Y'all everybody give him a drum roll. Let's give him a drum roll. Come on, brother. Okay. Give, give, me, give me that pork and bean. That pork and bean spin. Here we go. That pork and bean. Right there, right there. Do however you want to do it. Bring it down. Really, man. That's a pork and bean spin. Hold on. Spin that thing. Get off your chest. You got something you want to get off your chest? Is there something that's been bothering you with society, what's happening recently? What about Lizzo? You know, Aries Spears? I don't, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know if that's on your chest. I don't know. Is that what? Ooh, ooh. Neither one Neither of them one is on okay, my chest. Okay, was yeah, that on chest? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Student loans getting paid off. What was on your <laughs> chest? I, I know what. You know what? I'm going to tell you what's on my chest. All right, get it up off it. I'm tired of people being mean to each other and mm -hmm. people acting like they better than someone else mm -hmm. when it's not necessary. Okay. Because you don't know what that other person has. Mm -hmm. I, that's what's on my chest. I, I don't like people that like, like to front. Mm -hmm. You know, don't front with me. If you don't like me, just pass me. Mm. Damn. Just pass me. No fake love? No. Oh, I hate fake love. Ugh. But, I but, hate. But we in show business, man. But, I, but you know what? Then maybe... That part of it's not for me. Okay. Because okay. I don't like fake love. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. And yeah. I can say you said when necessary. So is there a time? It is necessary? You said you don't like it when it's necessary. No, I'm just saying. So that. never? Never. Okay. We got love here, man. And I'm going to show know, you yeah. how much love I got for you. I got what's called, a, we have a swag bag for our for our gifts. I don't know, somebody went to the goddamn grocery you, store. Would you go to bag. Kroger's? I know, damn. Okay, I thought we knew you have a nice one there. <laughs> Look in there, pull out, pull out, pull out what we got so we can just oh, see. Okay. It's all black owned products, brother. What we got for a cup? That's my saying there. Put, put it, it in the okay, comments. Put okay, put it in the comments. That's comment. my comment, right? Right. My book. Ah, uh, gone, gone, what Pierre. Say? What did book say? What did book say? What? My what? Uh, my 100 homies and phonies. Of where? Of Hollywood. Ooh, are you in that book? I don't know. I hope not. Ooh, wait. Could not. be a homie or a phony. Hold on. You know, you got to be on that. Say, fuck that. Let me go to the table no, no, of contents. No, 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 no. Okay, the, you knew I had one, too. I like that. Uh, you know I have a table Well, I know you. You're not stupid. Oh, that, thank you very much. You're we not. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't play golf. I must yeah. be stupid, he said. What a man. He said, what? Because I don't play golf. I must be stupid. It's a smart man's game only. I'll tell Dom to pull his knees apart if he don't hey, stop. Don't do that. Don't you do that, boy. Don't do that. <laughs> I love Don't him. do that. But yeah, that's, well, well, look at it. I don't know if you're not, that, that, I made that about a uh, few years back. Then you probably, I'm probably not in there. Okay, okay, okay. Well, the next one you'll be in. Okay, what else is up in that, man? Okay, let's see what else. A couple of things in there. Uh oh, this cologne? No. No, uh, no, that's a box. Okay, comedy hype has that. That's, it's a trivial game. You know, play trivial games and stuff. Got it. It's all about black culture and comedy. Got it. Sitcoms, comedians, movies, and black. You can sit around your friends and kind of guess. Good, right yeah, here. man. It's black owned. Yeah, yeah. That, that thing, that thing, go about fifty five dollars online normally. This is so good. So when you right with your here. friends around, y'all y'all fishing. If you have black friends, you fish with. Pull that thing out there, cause the white folks ain't gonna know some of that trivia. Okay, so pull it out. Start planning, man. You can get it at you can get that at uh, comedyhype.com forward slash shop. The gift store, get that right there, and support that right there. There it is all day long. Comedy hype and gift. Okay, what else we got in there? Okay, okay. what else I got? Oh hell no! You getting the adventure? You getting the officials? Feel how soft that that motherfucker yeah. is. Yeah, we can't get go. Now we are low on supply, so I got you a large. Uh, can we I do can that? Wear, I can wear a large. Okay, because I, I, I well obviously I saw you going down a uh, 
with a tight per- blue shirt, I mean, orange shirt on, so you like them a little snug on you and shit. So yeah, nah, that was just, it's just where the camera went. Is that what it is? Yeah, okay, well, cool, man. Was. Hey, Arnez, I love you, brother. I appreciate I you coming, you, man. man. Man, really, I do appreciate you coming through, Thank man. Thank you for my call, man. Yes, man. So, Give me no. some hugs. Oh, man. no, we'll we do that. Okay, we'll do all that. Okay. Uh, my brother, my brother, my brother. Have a seat. All right, have a seat before. Let me say goodbye to everybody. Yo, welcome to, I mean, welcome. Another episode of P.S. Panic Room. It was official. We had my man Arnez J. lay it out on the table, man. He told you a lot of stories. Stuff I didn't know you were going to say, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you, you really you really brought it, brother. I appreciate it, man. You yeah. was authentic, man. Very and I hope this is so. a safe space for us to talk to. We're going we to talk about Always. it all. I mean, you let me ask you questions. I was, Always. you know, hey, you was open for it. I love it, man. Always. I, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm like, uh, you know, hey, you know, we get enough of the, the phonyism. Right, so right, right. Let's try just being honest. Yeah, let's talk about it. I, I think if a lot of entertainers were a little bit more honest, they, right. they might live a little better oh wow okay well that's, that's a good note to go off of y'all thank y'all hey if you like this show and this episode man please subscribe hit the subscribe button or the notification bell right there hey we got another episode uh, next week man thank y'all always and thanks for the love y'all show me on the street man when i'm walking down the street they show me love for the show man yo i watch ps you in midtown know where that uh, uh, i'm just telling you well, i asked you I you are light skin Oh, Y'all kind of buttery. But once you told, but hold on. Once you told me, and you once, ain't a cowboy. <laughs> once you told me you wasn't on that side of the track, nigga, I was. I felt secure. Okay, okay. I, 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 you secure with sure. me. Uh-uh, I said, don't walk down uh, midtown. Well, we, ain't going downtown. we ain't going downtown. All right, holla at your boy, man. You we'll talk to a couple of blocks <laughs> from a couple of cops. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> hey, this your boy Arnett J, aka Yo Sweet Potato. I have survived the Pierre's Panic Room, and it wasn't that bad. Like a shot in the arm, kind of like the Moderna shot that I was allergic to when they told me that I wasn't going to, you know, that was going to take a week and it took two years, you know, just some bull crap. And then I went and got a booster. I don't, I don't feel good. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. If you like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below. You know, hit the, hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button, man. We want you around. Appreciate it.